Gerardo Sims was born in Havana, Cuba in 1950, the oldest of four children. In the early 60s, Gerardo fled the Cuban communist regime to Miami as part of Operation Pedro Pan. He was featured in a book called The Lost Boys, about boys surviving Cuban refugee camps. Afterward, Gerardo was reunited with his mother. With very limited means, his family struggled early on, but thanks to Father Ripoll, Gerardo was able to attend Belen. At Belen, his home away from home, he played on the basketball team, was active on the yearbook staff and in the Boy Scouts, and served as student council vice president in 1969. He received a bachelor's degree in psychology from the University of Miami and graduated from UM's law school in 1982. Gerardo was a trailblazer and broke barriers, becoming one of the very first black Cuban prosecutors for the Dade County State Attorney's Office right after graduation. In 1990, he joined the U.S. Attorney's Office. From 2003 until 2018, Gerardo was chief of the Asset Forfeiture Division there. His greatest professional accomplishment was that he was one of the authors of La Ley Modelo of 2011, which calls for forfeiture of assets upon conviction for international crimes and drug trafficking. He is considered an expert on the subject and helped draft this law at the request of the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. Gerardo is a man for others and has served as a member of Belen's advisory board, the Hispanic Heritage Council, Operation Pedro Pan Group, and others. Gerardo is married to Sherry Maloney. They have two children, a daughter, Antonia, and a son, Daniel, who graduated from Belen in 2015. He is inducted into the Belen Hall of Fame Class of 2023.